common question we get is what are the wastegates set at on X turbo that you send out? And the reason that question gets asked most of the time from customers is they believe that the wastegate setting is the max boost that that turbocharger is going to make in their application. And that's pretty wrong. Wastegates do control boost, but very seldomly are they the max boost setting. They, they may limit you to a total number, uh, but they're normally not going to be the max boost setting because your engine is still going to be able to drive or be able to rev out and, and overcome the leak. So what we have here, this is an HE351 turbine housing, just the housing, and this is the wastegate setup on it, okay? Waste, internal wastegates, external wastegates are all doing the same thing. We are venting off drive pressure, or pressure that's coming from the exhaust manifold that would spin the turbine wheel. We're going to now waste that and throw it out the tailpipe, okay? What, what we're trying to do when we build turbos, spec turbos, and dial a build in is we don't want to blow turbochargers up. There is a limit to how fast we can spool these things. Gated setups allow you to have a tighter turbine housing or smaller turbine wheel in your application so you can spool better, but then you can also bleed off drive pressure, which is the driving force that's spinning the turbine, so that you can still continue to rev out, not have a choking effect, drive pressure go nuts, and try to keep shaft speed in check so we're not destroying turbochargers, having journal bearing failure and all sorts of wonky stuff. When we set up turbochargers, typically we'll set, set them up around 30 PSI, leaving the shop here, a little higher in compound setups, uh, but normally we're around 30 PSI in a, in a Dodge pickup truck, like a, like a 1996 Dodge, something like that. Those gates on an HX35 are set between 17 and 19 PSI. And when we talk about that setting, what that is, that 19 PSI is when the seat comes off, when the puck right here comes off of the seat, all right? So it's nothing crazy. This isn't wide open throttle. That's not 19 PSI. That's when the seat comes off, the, or the puck comes off the seat right there, and we start to vent pressure, right? As you build more and more and more and more pressure, as the engine RPM goes up and the power comes up, the gate gets more and more open, allowing for more drive pressure to waste past the turbine. That's what we're trying to achieve. So the wastegate setting isn't really a max boost setting, it's where we start to control the drive pressure and the energy going to the turbine wheel so that we can keep the whole setup in check. There's a couple different ways to do this. This is set up for a canister gate, and this is for an S300, but it's the same type of deal. This would go on right here, and you would have intake pressure. Your boost would go into the feed right here, and as manifold pressure comes up, this arm will then come out, and you can adjust that with the turnbuckle. As this comes out, as that comes out with manifold pressure, back and forth. This is constantly working. You can also see something on S300s. This is normally on S300s, it's a spring gate. A spring gate is not connected to your intake pressure at all. It is, it is uh, adjustable with just a, a spring. You can play with all sorts of different springs right there. But that is the pressure built inside the turbine housing and eventually that pressure will then push on the puck from the inside out. So you can play with spring tensions and as drive pressure comes up, depending on what you're doing, you're in a compound setup that makes 80 pounds of boost, well, oftentimes we use a spring gate in a compound setup because of fitment. It's just smaller than the traditional canister gate and it allows for some pretty good control. It's just tough to set up because you don't know exactly what your PSI is, you know, your adjustments as you as you tighten this turnbuckle down versus this, I can set it at exactly what I want it to. But when you're making a bunch of boost, oftentimes in like an S3, S4 compound setup, we'll do a spring gate. Uh, normal singles are just a canister gate. Uh, when you do a waste gate on like a race setup that's on the manifold, those are going to be spring and air, oftentimes with regulators. And those are much, much bigger gates 
than, than what you're going to see on an OEM style turbo. Those are for engines that are building gobs of power, lots of nitrous, you know, a really hard, violent hit. And we're trying to keep the whole setup where we're not chucking turbos, drive pressure going crazy, popping head gaskets, things like that. But that is how your wastegate works. Your 30 PSI wastegate setting is simply when the puck comes off the seat. That is not wide open. That is the, the setting from puck coming off to right there when we start to regulate drive pressures and shaft speed and, and thus shaft speeds.